Hey, this is Mr. Mason Hitt, and what we're going to review in this tutorial is how to figure out the distance of any given line that is on a coordinate plane. Now, if you had a vertical line, which is one going up and down, or a horizontal line, then you can simply just count the units that are on the graph. But whenever you have a slanted line, you have to use different techniques or strategies to figure out the distance of that line. And one strategy that can be employed is by using the Pythagorean theorem. Whenever you see a slanted line on a coordinate plane, think of it like the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So what you have to do is draw the two lines that would form the right angle of that triangle. For example, we could draw a line from this point to this point right here, and we can draw a line from this point to this point right here, forming our right triangle. Now remember, the Pythagorean theorem states that if you take the squares of the two shorter sides and add them together, that is going to be equal to the square of the longest side or the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So let's take a look at the distance of the two of the triangle's legs. So this base right here of the triangle has a distance of two and the height of the triangle has a distance of four. So we're gonna call this distance A. So we're gonna take two and square that and then we're going to take the length of this line, which is 4, and we're going to square that. And that's going to be equal to c squared. Now, 2 squared is 4, and 4 squared is 16. And now we just take the sum of those two squares, which is 20. And whatever c is, if we square that value, it's going to be equal to 20. So to figure out what c is, we have to take the square root of 20. And the square root of 20 is approximately equal to 4.47 if we round to the nearest hundreds place. So the distance of this line right here is about 4.5 units. Now another way that you can figure out the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane is by using the distance formula. And the distance formula is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared, and then we have to add to that y2 minus y1 squared. The next thing we have to do is determine the coordinates of each of our points, and this point right here is located at 0, 1, and this point is located at 2, negative 3. Now, because this is our first point, we're going to call this x1 and y1. And because this is our second point, we are going to call this x2 and y2. Now, all we have to do is take each corresponding value and plug it into our formula up here. So, the value of x2 right here is 2. So, we're going to start by replacing x2 with 2. And we're going to subtract from that x1, which is 0. And we have to take that difference and square it. And then we're going to bring down our plus sign from our formula. Now y2 is negative 3. And we're going to subtract from negative 3 our y1, which is positive 1. And we have to square the difference of those values as well. All right. So let's go ahead and solve what we have inside the parentheses first. So we have 2 take away 0, which is 2. And we have to square that difference. And then we have negative 3 minus 1, which is negative 4. So we're going to have to take negative 4. And we have to square it. And we're going to square those differences next. 2 squared is 4. And 4 squared is 16. So now we just have to add 4 and 16 together, which is 20. So we have to figure out what the square root of 20 is. And the square root of 20 is approximately equal to 4.47 units when rounded to the nearest hundredths place. So that was two methods on how you can figure out the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane. So let's go ahead and do one more example. Okay, once again, we're going to start by using the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the distance of the slanted line right here. So we're going to start by creating the legs of our right triangle. So here's one of the legs, and here is another one of the legs. 
Next, we have to figure out the distance of each one of these legs. And the distance of this leg is 5. And the distance of this leg right here is 8 units. So right away, we're going to square both of these legs. So we have 5 squared. And we're going to add that to 8 squared. And that will be equal to c squared. 5 squared is 25. And we have to add that to 8 squared, which is 64. And 25 plus 64 is equal to 89. So to figure out what c is, we have to take the square root of 89. And the square root of 89 to the nearest hundredths place is, actually I should have put an approximately equal to symbol here, is approximately equal to 9.43 units. All right, let's go ahead and do the same problem using the distance formula. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what the coordinates are of each one of these two points here. The location of this point right here is 4, 3. And the coordinates of this point located in quadrant number 3 is negative 4, negative 2. Okay, now that we know the coordinates of each one of our two points, what we're going to do is we're going to write x2 minus x1. And we know we have to take that difference and square that difference. And then we have to add to that the square of the differences of the y values, or y2 minus y1. And we have to take the square root of that entire thing. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in all corresponding values into our formula. So we're going to go ahead and call this point our first point. We're going to call this our second point here. So the second x would be this x right here. So we're going to say our second x is 4. And we're going to subtract from it the first x, which is negative 4. And after taking the difference of those x values, we have to square that difference. All right, next we have to identify the second y, or the y2, which is 3. And y1 is negative 2. And we have to take the difference of those values and square them. All right, next we have to do what is inside those parentheses. So let's take 4 and negative 4 and subtract, which is actually going to be positive 8. So we're going to have to square 8. And then we have to take 3 and negative 2 and subtract. And because we are subtracting a negative, we turn those both positive. So really we have a value of 5. So we have to take 5 and square it. All right, next we have to take 8 squared, which is 64, and add that to 5 squared, which is 25. And the sum of 64 and 25 is 89. And the square root of 89 is approximately equal to 9.43 when rounded to the nearest hundredths place. So remember, when finding the distance between any two points on the coordinate plane, you may use either the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula, but it's a good idea to learn both of these strategies. Sometimes your teacher might demand that you use one versus the other. However, the two formulas are really related to each other. As you can see with both examples, we ended up getting the two numbers in the end, no matter what strategy we use. Like for example, if I were to recreate the legs of this triangle here, we had one leg that was a distance of 5 and another leg that is a distance of 8. So we ended up squaring 5, and we ended up squaring 8, which gave us 25 and 64. And as you can see, using the distance formula, we also came up with 64 and 25. So really, this is kind of like our a squared of the Pythagorean theorem, and this is the b squared of the Pythagorean theorem. And when adding a squared to b squared, we got 89, which is really going to be what c squared is equal to. So taking the square root of 89, we end up getting 9.43, which is the value of C.